hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so again we have come back with the question 1.2 in our book and previously we have seen the solution of part a of it so today we are going to talk about part b so what is basically the part p uh, we have to compute the 10 percent trimmed mean okay so uh, in this sort of question what do we have to do we have to drop the lower 10 percent and higher 10 percent of our data sets uh, and then we have to calculate the mean of it okay uh, so let me remove uh, the previously studied mean and uh, medians so let me remove it so i have to use the name for it and that is mean underscore tree r and here we have to add all the data points which are here and these are from 18.9 to 19.25 up to the 22.85 okay so let me add them 18.92 plus 19.25 okay plus 19.29 up to what up to the data point the last one here is 22.85 okay so after adding them i have to divide it over what the two data points from the lower end and two data points from the upper end has been removed so the remaining data points we have are 16 so therefore the data points we will have will be 16 so as i have uh, already calculated it and uh, the summation of it is 331.89 divided by 16 and finding it the trimmed mean of it will be what 20.743 okay so what is this this is basically the trimmed mean score tr and the value of it is here and this is the answer of a trimmed mean so what is this this is the actual mean this is the trimmed mean while this is the median of our data which we have previously calculated so these are the values in our uh, part c we have to do a dot plot of the absorbency data so the dot plot of it we will do it uh, in our upcoming video so uh, now let me see that what is part d asking so part d is asking me that using only the values of the mean okay this is the value of the mean uh, median this is the median and uh, the trim mean. do you have any evidence of the outliers and the data uh, as we can see that uh, these three uh, indicators basically have been showing me a uh, very less amount of difference in between them because uh, these are almost similar so therefore it is not showing me or not indicating me uh, the availability of any outlier so therefore the answer of it is no because these are basically the uh, similar ones if i had a higher difference between the mean uh, trimmed mean and the actual mean so basically it would have indicated the availability of any outlier here uh, as we have removed the 10 percent data from it and we can see that still these two measures are almost similar so it is not showing me the availability of any outlier here okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have discussed the three parts of our question 1.2 so i hope it's enough for today we will also try to solve the part c in our upcoming video uh, but the actual concept is similar as we have previously seen in our question 1.1 and you can also try to solve the same part as we have done it in our previous video so i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon